Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Woo! Folks, I like that. I like that. Thank you. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you guys are feeling tonight, but I am staying positive. Not, not testing positive, just staying positive. I'm staying positive. I believe that the bottle of Purell is half full. Because <laughs> somebody stole half my Purell, and I will find you. The coronavirus is still on everyone's minds, so don't forget to wash your minds. <laughs> and I'll tell you all about the latest in tonight's edition of Going Viral. Woo! Book your cruise now! now uh, there are now over 600 cases of coronavirus in the United States. There were 500 when we rehearsed this two hours ago. <laughs> Over the weekend, the CDC posted some guidelines for people at risk of serious illness from the virus, including avoid crowds as much as possible. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, there it is, you know. Good advice, good advice. Let's, let's help everybody remember that. Chant it with me. Avoid crowds. Avoid crowds. Avoid crowds. Avoid crowds. Excellent. Now... <laughs> Here in New York City, uh, we have uh, 140 cases. That's the whole state. The whole state has 140 cases. Mayor de Blasio has had some real helpful advice, telling commuters to avoid packed subway cars. <laughs> Quit, quick thinking, Mr. Mayor. Why didn't we think of that? Listen up, everybody. Don't get on the crowded subway car. Okay, get on a subway car where there's no one else on it. So remember to get on it with a crying baby and an accordion. <laughs> now, things are, uh, are worse overseas. The Italian government has just quarantined the entire country. Yeah, even the Olive Garden just changed their slogan to, when you're here, why are you here? You're going to give us coronavirus. <laughs> while, while, that is the official restaurant of Italy. Hospitaliano, my friend. Hospitaliano. While officials are urging calm, today Wall Street S and P'd its pants. <laughs> the Dow fell over 2,000 points. Oh! It's the largest single point drop in history. I think we have some footage of the Dow dropping. Don't forget to wash your hands. He's fine. The Dow is fine. Now, that point drop, as I said, the largest in Dow history, larger by over 500 points, breaking the record set just 11 days ago. <laughs> you know what? Donald Trump was right when he said this. We're going to win so much, you're going to get so tired of winning. You're so tired. Absolutely exhausted. <laughs> Every day at the New York Stock Exchange, they let guests ring the opening bell, so it must suck. For today's bell ringers, banking industry women celebrating International Women's Day. Oh, so suddenly the market was earning way less than when a man rang the bell, even though the women did the same job. That checks out. Huh. Huh, I say. I say, huh. The day was so rough on Wall Street, business journalists were forced to get really creative. Various outlets described the market as careening, Plunging, sinking, tumbling, collapsing, cratering, plummeting, and crashing. In fact, the only company that did well today was International Thesaurus and Synonym Incorporated. Clear <laughs> uh, the roof. Through uh, this way, right? You gotta get your words together. Mm -hmm. You look good. Yeah. You look good. Yeah. This is the first crisis of Trump's presidency that he did not cause himself, <laughs> and he is uh, shanking it. Instead of monitoring the situation, Trump spent the weekend golfing. It seems insensitive. I know. Come on, man. Come on, man. You took the right out of my mouth. <laughs> it does seem insensitive, but remember that right after Pearl Harbor was attacked, FDR was photographed playing ski ball. <laughs> December 7th, 1941, a day that will live in fun for me. <laughs> Long walk. <laughs> then, with people concerned about the growing death toll of this outbreak, 
Today, Trump tweeted, so last year, 37,000 Americans died from the common flu. It averages between 27,000 and 70,000 per year. Nothing is shut down, life and the economy. Go on. At this moment, there are 546 confirmed cases of coronavirus with 22 deaths. Think about it. Okay, let me think about that. You're a monster. <laughs> Here's the thing. I had to think about it. I had to think about it. You got to be... Here's the thing. We can criticize Trump's golfing and tweeting, but when he hunkers down and focuses on the problem, that's when he really sucks. <laughs> Case in point, on Friday, he'd headed down to the CDC to reassure the public, but he led off with some less than encouraging words about the people who are currently sick. Most of those people are going to be fine. The vast majority are going to be fine. Oh, it reminds me of that joyful Bob Marley song. Don't worry about a thing, about a thing, because the vast majority of things are going to be all right. <laughs> now... Yeah, yeah, get that talking together. <laughs> yeah. Trump went on to explain why he's the best person to handle this pandemic. You know, my uncle is a great person. He was at MIT. He taught at MIT for, I think, like a record number of years. He was a great super genius, Dr. John Trump. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised that I understand it. No, no. No, no. No, he's right. I would be very surprised if you understood it. <laughs> I don't care how smart your uncle was. Epidemiology is not genetic. You don't get your mother's eyes and your father's PhD. <laughs> Knowledge does not get passed down in the family. That's why, no matter how much we all know it now, future generations are going to have to learn for themselves that you're an idiot. <laughs> now, note, note, Note that during his official visit to the CDC, during a national emergency, Trump is wearing a campaign hat. Now, might not be appropriate during a crisis, but it does remind me of Lincoln showing up at the Battle of Antietam wearing his campaign hat. Suck it, South. <laughs> yeah, that was what, that's what he ran on. Suck it, South. Yeah. Up until... No, you don't remember that? I don't remember you don't remember that, Paul. Up until now, there have not been enough coronavirus test kits available, but Trump says that problem is solved. Anybody that wants a test can get a test. That's and what I, I would just say that we... Anybody right now and yesterday, anybody that needs a test gets a test. We, they're there. They have the test. Wow, that is so reassuring and so not true. 1.1 million tests were just distributed for a country of 328 million. So, yeah, no. <laughs> but, 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 according to Trump, these tests aren't just everywhere. They're also just the best. They have the tests, and the tests are beautiful. The tests are all perfect. Like, the letter is perfect. The transcription was perfect, right? This was not as perfect as that, but... Pretty good. So, so the coronavirus tests are almost as perfect as his Ukrainian phone call. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> now, Trump, that rarely gets a laugh. That knowledge rarely gets a laugh. Trump's also taking heat because he fired the White House's pandemic response team back in 2018, but he had a response for that. President, much like you said, you had not anticipated this kind of thing happening. Uh, do you think that having the Office of Pandemic uh, Preparation in the White House that uh, went on staff in 2018? I just think this is something, Peter, that you can never really think is going to happen. <laughs> well... You know who thought a pandemic might happen? The White House pandemic response team. <laughs> the same way, the same way you know who thinks waffles might happen? The Waffle House. <laughs> They're ready. They're ready anytime waffles break out. <laughs> One of the biggest virus stories is the Grand Princess cruise ship, 
which has been sailing in circles off the coast of San Francisco since last week with at least 21 coronavirus cases on board. Things have gotten pretty grim on board the ship, with passengers reporting people fighting over rotten food. So, some parts of the crew's experience have remained the same. <laughs> The ship was allowed to dock in Oakland, California today, but not everyone in the administration was on board with getting them off board. For instance, the president. I mean, frankly, uh, if it were up to me, I would be inclined to say, leave everybody on the ship for a period of time and you use the ship as your base. But a lot of people would rather do it a different way. They'd rather quarantine people in the land. Now, when they do that, our numbers are going to go up. Okay, our numbers are going to go up. I would rather, because I like the numbers being where they are, I don't need to have the numbers double because of one ship. That wasn't our fault. Trump is saying he doesn't want the passengers off the ship because their illness might make him look bad. Look, if they come ashore, then we're responsible for them. But if we send them to international waters, they're Aquaman's problem. <laughs> Okay? Atlantis. Atlantis. International waters. Cow guy poker. As for future cruises, infectious disease experts have offered their own plan. Stay the hell away. Say no large crowds, no long trips, and above all, don't get on a cruise ship. That is a bummer for America's cruise lovers. Now they're going to have to get chlamydia from a member of the Blue Man group here on land. It's just not the same. Oh my God. Now, all the drumming, all the incessant drumming. Now, with more and more Americans opting out of cruises to self-quarantine at home, one cruise line is introducing a new, safer way to enjoy the high seas. Check out their new ad, Jim. Worried about the virus but refuse not to cruise? Introducing Princess Cruises Home Edition. It's the incredible journey to where you already are. Love our shrimp buffet? Now enjoy it from the comfort of your own sink. It's fine. Eat it. No cruise is complete without cute towel animals. Now you can make your own. A snake or an eel? Great job. You earned some shrimp. And don't miss our home cruise day excursions, like exotic pantry grotto, breathtaking garage caverns, and it's not a cruise without snorkeling. BYO Fish. Oh, wow. Princess Cruises Home Edition. The fun is contagious. We got a great show for you tonight. John Krasinski is here. But when we return, the C in CPAC stands for coronavirus.